Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show and you are just in time. We're about to sit down with our guest artist, New Hero. Now, while we all might have a preferred genre of music that we like to listen to, what we know about the music, well, the magic really happens when those worlds collide. That's why the genre fluid music of New Hero, which consists of dubstep DJ and producer Keaton Carlson, aka Grimehouse, and vocalist Scotty Moore, has transcended barriers and really resonated with so many South African music lovers and they are joining us this morning to really share a little bit more about their sound, what they've been up to and of course their latest single, Smiling. Okay. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Honor to be here. Yeah, Honor you guys should be, be smiling. <laughs> Did you just hear that intro that's, that Zoe put on for you guys? Wow. Amazing intro. Amazing. Hey, genre fluid. Pretty sure she got the wrong, the wrong guys. I think they, they're we, not yeah. us. If we could sound as good as what you explained that, that'd be great. <laughs> Well, I love that you guys are going with the, the terminology genre, genre fluid. The, the thing is, we haven't found our sound yet. We're still searching for it. Um, we're pretty sure in the next sort of five years we might get there. But um, we like so five many years. different... Five eh? I don't know if I, can, if I can be with you that long. Oh, no. <laughs> it's long. But do you have to label it? Do you have to box you it? Don't it? Have to like you don't have you to label it. You don't have that. to. Music is music. I, I think a lot of people do that. You know, I, I, we play this specific genre, but we like totally different types of music, so I think every single song is like, okay, let's try this, let's try that, and it just turns out the way it turns out. And, and that's the beautiful thing about you guys. You, you are a fruit salad of <laughs> musical excellence. Because the thing is, when you look at dubstep and how like, sort of synth-laden that is, and then I, I look at your background as well, and there's a, a bit of like, you know, vocal and a touch of alternative rock, and that sort of thing that comes in. How do you even get into studio and say, let's do something with those two traditional genres? How did that work? We spoke about it for years, eh? <laughs> yeah, we, we don't look at we don't look at genres at all. We just we just we just good friends and we hang out and we we bang on instruments and we <laughs> use these, this instrument in his throat and see yeah. what, what comes out. Yeah, I can jam play sessions. I can yeah. play an jam instrument. <laughs> it's called the throat. <laughs> but, um, I, but we uh, sometimes you'll send me piano, um, you'll send me guitar, and I'll I'll write something, you know, the genius stuff, Ooh. and then I uh, send it back to him, and then. Um, then he'll, he makes the song around it, then we come together and we collaborate and we finish it up together. So it's quite a process, but... Um, we don't look at it as a, as a genre, whatever yeah. comes out, comes out. Like they'll ask us, what genre are we putting this down as? We're like, uh, yes. you tell whatever us. Whatever you choose. <laughs> TBC. <laughs> TBC, <laughs> yeah. everyone. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your new single, Smiling. Smiling I, what can people, you know, who haven't heard it yet, because you guys will be performing it a little bit later, uh, tell us a little bit about it. I, I didn't... I didn't know, when he, when he sent me the vocals, I thought it was a love song. But then afterwards, like a couple of weeks ago, I was listening to him being interviewed somewhere and he said it's about depression, so I got it all completely wrong. Interesting. So it's all on him now, because well, I don't actually know what the, the song is about. The thing is, like, so, so through 2020, I went through some bad depression and um, I couldn't write. I didn't even want to get out of bed. And I'm sure a lot of people like, felt that way. People lost their loved ones, they lost jobs. Um, and I lost my inspiration. So it was actually, two, it was in December, they told me, he, he was telling me, like, come on, what are we doing? We're making music, you know? Mm. Um, and I found this old piece of piano, and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna try and sit down and write about my experience, about what was happening. And, um, yeah, I think I put that, that emotion across into the song, and then he obviously sent it to him, and he was like, okay, we're on a winner here, so. That's how it started. This is literally the first song I've written in a year. Wow, that is, that's powerful. And, and perhaps there's some beautiful nuance to the name New Hero being the band name, because when it comes to things like you were going through, yeah. I mean, you had to become your own hero and use the vehicle of music. That was always your vehicle to release and express yourself yeah. to try and get out of that. And I wanna, I wanna commend you for that as well, brother. That's, that's courage right there. But I wanna tell you one thing, you know, it's music, one thing I realized, music doesn't define me, but when I am making music, it makes me the best version of myself. I like that. And you have to ask for help. You can't yes. do this alone. You have to. You know, so I'm lucky I had, this old buddy, old pal over here, and of course my beautiful wife. So you know, they they, they help me. A happy song wouldn't go amiss, though. That's yeah, all well, I'm saying. I'll, I'll give you one one day. It's real, though. <laughs> Let's get some jump it's, up it's here. It's real. It's real. Yeah. Come on. And how did that writing process feel for you? You know, being so vulnerable through your lyrics. I have to be vulnerable in my lyrics. Um, I can't just sit down and write a song for radio. If you sit down and you write a song and you go, I know this. I'm writing this for this specific station. I guarantee you, they're not going to take it, and people are not going to like it. You have to speak from the soul. You have to tell the truth. The deepest, darkest secrets you don't want anyone to know, you can hide them in the beautiful language of English. 
you know, and you yeah. can, and people pick up their, I mean, uh, people have said to me, they think smiling's about this, he thought it was a love song, you know, but um, it's, that's the beauty of English, you can sort of get your own meaning out of it. I like that, and I know a lot of people, you know, can't always articulate how they feel, but sometimes music speaks for them. Exactly. And it's by, you know, amazing lyrics that you write that really brings that message home for them. Well, we cannot wait to hear you perform. I'm pretty sure you're excited. I am excited because you've got <laughs> talent, creativity, and honesty is what you are going to hear today. And New Hero will be performing a little bit later on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And if you're needing a little bit of morning saving, don't worry. We have a New Hero later.